Hello everybody, Todd here, All Things Archery and Shooting, and I've got another video for you today, kind of a different video. What I have here is I have my, uh, I did a review on this uh, about three or four days ago, this is my um, Mandarin Duck two-piece takedown longbow, okay, 50 pounds, 60 inch overall length, alright? And you guys saw me shooting this bow in a review, and I've been shooting it for the past couple days now, and the first couple days I had the bow, it was shooting like a top, I mean, it was just launching arrows like, like missiles. I was nailing, keep my doing average three inch group of 20 yards all day long, knocking them out. So I said, all right, well, so Saturday morning I got up, I said, let me order our, 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 our local range here. It's been raining here and kind of nasty out. So we've got a nice range here at um, it's called the Easton Newberry um, Archery Range. It's over in Newberry, Florida. It's about a 20 minute ride from my house. They've got a 3D range, they have archery, they have indoor ranges, the whole nine yards. So I'm over there, I brought my, I brought my Mandarin Duck um, Dout Devourer, which is what this bow is, with me to shoot some more, get some more uh, practice in with it. And I went over there and I started shooting Saturday morning. Well, I couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. I don't know what the heck was going on. I mean, I literally, my groups went from 3 inches, 3 to 4 inches at 20 yards, to like 10 to 15 inches. And I'm like, what in the heck is going on? So at first I thought I was just having an off morning, okay? So I said, okay, so I, I went, I stopped, went out, got some lunch, came back, did some more shooting, same thing. I said, this can't be right. So I went out, got, oh, got my little toolbox I carry with me. I carry some basic extension there, like a bow square, some knocks, knocking pliers, um, bow, uh, bow scale, that kind of thing. And I started going over my bow at the range. I checked the, I checked the um, tiller on it, tiller was fine. I checked the poundage, the poundage had to change on it, the string was fine. I checked the brace height, the brace height was good, nothing changed there. I checked the rest, make sure it was still, the rest was solid and secure, nothing there. But I just could not hit the broad side of a barn, I couldn't figure it out. So I said, okay, heck with it, I'll just call today. So I went home, hung the bow up for the night, got next morning, went back over there, do some more shooting, same exact thing. I'm like, all right, there's something gotta be going on here. I don't know what, something's gotta be going on. So. I left the range, I came home, and I go, 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 started going through my bow from top to bottom. Started thinking, okay, last time my bow shot good was Friday when I was shooting on my range here. I put probably about 150 arrows on it on my range, and it was shooting beautifully. What happened differently between Friday and the weekend? And it hit me. What I did is I added this little rubber um, tip protector on Friday night because I knew I was going to go to the range on Saturday and I didn't want to leave the stick in the dirt and everything else and ruin it. So I said, that can't be it. No way can this tip protector cause all that. So I put the, ripped the, took the tip protector off, went back out to my home range. First three arrows I shot at my, at my Glendale Big Buck target, three shots right in the heart. Just like torpedoes. Boom, boom, boom. Unbelievable, couldn't believe it. So I put it back on, went back out, same thing all over the place. So believe it or not, this rubber tip protector was causing all that hassle, this $5 item here. Only thing I can think about why it's doing that is because of this. You see how it comes up really high in the string? So when the bow pulls, it throws the tiller of the bottom string off when it's at full draw. Okay? So that's the only thing I can think of. All right? So what I did is I'll pull this off here. Because I went ahead, I had another one of these rubber tip protectors. Now this one's a little bit different, but this one I took my X-Acto knife and I cut a square out of it right here, just so I could run the string through it, okay? It had, it had a slit in it before, like just one slit across it right here in the bottom. I guess the design originally run a string through, but I wouldn't have cut it out much bigger with my X-Acto knife. So there was a slit there, but I cut it out this part here. There was a slit right here, I cut this part by X-Acto to give me something bigger for my string to fit through. So, I put this little baby on there and all of my problems for shooting went away. So believe it or not, this tip protector here, you see how long it is? It was covering up too much of the string and causing the, I guess the bottom limb tiller to be off a little bit. That's why I couldn't get any kind of consistency. So, if you guys got one of these like that, either run you a slice down the middle or cut it back to where the string stops at, okay? Or get you one of these kind that you can get these from um, Three Rivers Archery. So I got this one at. But remember, these come they come from the from through with this a little slit right there instead of the S. So the string slides through it. So I went ahead and I went and cut a square out. Now with that square cut out, I put it on there. It hide it in my string. No way that my string would be contacting that rubber anymore. And I put this on, went back to shot, and it shot like torpedoes again. 
So anyway, so that was my story this weekend. I was ready to toss this bow in the trash. I couldn't believe it after talking so much hype about how great this bow was. I could hit the broad side of the barn with a Saturday or Sunday. And, re and I, it never dawned on me something a little $5 tip protector would cause that, but it did. So lesson learned, I won't use these type anymore. If I do, I'll be sure to cut them where they stop for the string, okay? Or I'd get this type here, all right? And make my own, just cut them out. So, there we go. That is what happened. You see the difference there. So, if you guys have put one of these tip protectors on your boat and you can't seem to get your accuracy just right, that might be the issue. All right, I hope this has been informative to you. It sure has been to me because it kind of blew me away that little piece of rubber will cause all this heartache for me the last couple of days. But as, apparently it did. So, But anyway, I wanted to share that with y'all. And, and by the way, the bow shooting outstanding. The bow, I, I've probably put 500 arrows through it now except for Saturday and Sunday, which wasn't the bow's fault. The bow is shooting like a top. I mean, this is a really sweet shooting bow. I gotta say though, it's taken some getting used to this smaller grip area. I'm not used to this tight kind of grip area. So, and also, it took, I had to find, it took me a while to find the right arrows for this thing, because this thing is cut 1 8 before center. It's not a true center shot. So instead of using a 55 to 60 pound um, spine weight, I had to go to a 45 to 50. And I had some laying around here, and I those seem to shoot the best through it. And this bow pulls 54 pounds at my draw length, so I guess uh, so. I got I got a set of arrows tuned for it now. So he's shooting even better now. I mean, I, I can stack arrows at 15 yards. I can stack them on top of each other. At 10 yards, I'm breaking knocks with this with this bow, and at 20 yards, I'm three inches roughly on sh consistently now. So. Anyway, this has been Todd with All Things Archery and Shooting. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for support. Drop me a comments down if you got any for me. Let me know if you had a similar situation with one of these rubber tips before. That's the first time. I've used these for years. I've never had a problem before. That's the first time I've come across a problem with these. So drop me a comment if you had a similar problem with these, or if you've never had a problem, because maybe it's just the design of this particular tip protector. I don't know. But anyway, it's, uh, that's what happened. So I want to thank you again for watching, and I'm... And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And also, if you can't, and that little bell next to that subscription button, click that bell there. That way I can notify you of upcoming videos. And also, um, click the like button and share with your friends. I've got a couple other new cool uh, videos coming up in the next few days. i got a couple more bow reviews coming up. And I've got, uh, I've got a couple gun reviews coming up, too, and some ammo review, too. Ammo's finally becoming available again. So I'm going to have some a couple of ammo uh, videos here in the next probably week or so. I'll be doing some ammo and some protective ammo and defensive ammo and EDC carry ammo, okay? Everyday carry ammo. So look for those. All right, I want to thank you for watching. It's been Todd. And until next time, ciao.